We're going to learn one of my favorites today. It's called King Dancer, a standing bow. It depends where you go and what they call it. This is one of my favorites because it incorporates a back bend with using all the muscles to create a cardiovascular workout. It's on one leg, so we're looking at a balancing pose. There is so much happening in this pose all at once that we're getting a lot of benefits from doing it. I love this pose because it really helps open up my chest, opens my back, strengthens my back, and also strengthens the leg that I stand on. Um, like many poses, you're going to see that there's multiple steps to the setup. And sometimes those steps are where you're going to stop. You might not make it to the full expression this first time, maybe even your second or your tenth or your twentieth. Everybody is different. So I'm telling you this because I want you to, again, be your own physician, be your own advocate. Know where you need to go. And if you find a spot where you have to stop, that means you have to learn to strengthen there. So maybe that's just standing on one leg and holding the other foot. And if that's where you stop, that's where you stop. You may end up here for days or weeks before you have the strength to kick up into your hand, bringing yourself into that back bend position. So I just want you to know, wherever you are on this journey is different than anyone else watching this video and you need to stay there, strengthen the muscles so that you can move on to the next portion of the pose properly. Because if you skip through something and just try to get to the next position, you're actually not training in building the muscles that are necessary to get there, okay? So don't compete with yourself, don't compete with me, don't compete with anyone. Learn this at your own pace, pace and make it part of your yoga practice if it's something that you think you want to incorporate. So I'm going to show you now how to do this pose. So in standing bow, we're going to start with our feet together, heels touching, toes touching. Legs are solid and straight. You take your arm up and rotate it to the outside, almost like if there was money, if there was a coin in this hand, you don't want to drop that money. You lower it down. And then you pick up your foot from the inside with this foot, and you're holding at your ankle. So this might be where you stay today. You might just have to learn how to strengthen this locked leg, lifting up that quadriceps so that you don't have any bend in that knee. But if this is easy for you and you want to go further, the next step would be to raise your left arm up, because the right arm is what I used to pick up my foot, and then kick my right leg into my hand, creating a back bend and allowing my body to come down so that my arm is in line with the floor. And I'm looking forward beyond my fingertips. My left leg is locked out. My right hand is pulling against that kicked leg. If you're falling out of this, you want to kick harder and kick harder. And you always want to come out the way you came in, which is bringing yourself back to center and your arms down. Now, of course, you want to do the same thing on the opposite side, and you always want to have integrity with your pose. You want to make sure that you're doing every step in the right place and in the right timing. You don't want to jump again. So don't get too far ahead of yourself. If you fall over, you just get back in, right? Just like life. You fall out, you get back up. You fall over, you get up. I do it all the time, and I don't mean literally. This is a way that we can take yoga into our life, and we can take our life into yoga.